South Red Lawrence Elementary. Today is Wednesday, no. September the um, 18th. 18th. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, 2024. Uh, let's observe the moment of silence and reflect on the anticipated activities of the day. All right, at this time, we're going to say the pledge to our country's flag. Everybody stand, salute, and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's say our PBIS mission statement. At Southwest Lawrence Elementary, we aim to develop positive, hardworking, respectful achievers. Ooh, today's lunch, popcorn chicken in a roll or PB&J buddy bag, scallop potatoes, seasoned greens, and fruit. Happy birthday to Anna Evans, Takesha Plummer, and Juvencio Benitez Reyes. Make sure you come wow. see us for a birthday pencil. Happy birthday. All right. So we've been the day. That's right, because we've been talking about all right. Who, what have we been talking about for September? That's right, compassion. All right, so let's see. Oh, this is going to be a good one. I yes. Think. Um. Oh, good. <laughs> I love it when Miss Howell shows tells us what our animal of the month is because. I don't get it sometimes. But anyway, our core value, remember, is compassion. And the mouse is a small animal that we're going to be talking about this month. In literature, mice have been used symbolically to represent various themes, including compassion. And that is true. It yes. is true. For example, in the classic book of Mice and Men, John Steinbeck, the in, uh, by John Steinbeck, the character Lenny Small has a strong connection to mice. Mm -hmm. His interactions with mice throughout the story reflect his desire for companionship mm -hmm. and tenderness. Mm -hmm. This portrayal highlights the book's themes of compassion, loneliness, and the longing for connection. That is so true. Like, I always love to read the books, um, the Mouse and the Motorcycle books, to okay. my classes when I taught third grade. Mm -hmm. And it is very true. Well, you know, I was thinking mice. about that Aesop fable with the mouse and the lion, mm -hmm. and the mouse pulled the the thorn out of the lion's paw. Mm -hmm. So I thought, yeah. Very okay. compassionate. All right. Very good. All right, let's see what we have going on today. Oh, well, that really doesn't apply to them. Okay. But, okay, so it's homecoming week. Today is tacky versus trendy. We've seen lots of Lots both. of both, <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, tomorrow is Barbie versus G.I. Joe. We can't wait to see what you come up with that. And I think Miss Pat's going to come take pictures again tomorrow. Yes, she is. Because she loves to come to Southwest when we have Barbie G.I. Joe Day. Yes. So, so make sure you dress up tomorrow. It'll be a lot of fun. That's right. All right. Well, I want y'all to have a wonderful day. And remember to keep it rad. Bye. Bye. When I wake up in the morning and the longest I don't want it, I don't think I'll ever make it on time. By the time I grab my books and I give myself a look, I'm at the corner just in time to see the bus fly by. It's alright, cause I'm sleep at the bill. If the teacher pops a test, I know I'm in.